Press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It gives me much pleasure to have you all join us today for the 2018 annual West African Security Services Social Activity for personnel of the Central Regional Police Headquarters for Mason and police districts within the Cape Coast Metropolis. As you all know, the annual social activity, which is our version of an end of year get together, is coming on at this time of the year, instead of December 2018, because of various commitments personnel of the Ghana Police Service usually engage in, in the periods before, during, and after the Christmas and New Year festivities. Ladies and gentlemen, as we come together to have fun this evening, I crave your indulgence to take a few minutes of the time to take stock of our activities in the past year 2018, so as to be able to review the strategies that we put in place to ensure that we improve of, upon our performances of last year. The Central Regional Police, which is made up of seven divisions and 29 districts, was generally calm throughout the period 2018, but had its own peculiar law, order, and security challenges that we had to cautiously and professionally police to prevent them from escalating. In the first two months of 2018, the region faced some serious challenges with violent crimes, including robberies on the highways and the Kaswa enclave, but with a, but a motivated and determined team of officers and men of the Central Regional Police, we re-strategized by introducing snap checks, by introducing snap checks on the main Cape Coast to Accra highways, established motorbike patrols in Kaswa, and intensified patrols in our towns and villages, and carried, out the, and carried the fight to the criminals in their hideouts around Intin, Anafu, Aidan, Ola, Mankesim, Kaswa, etc., through intelligence-led swoops, among others, leading to a downward and diminishing trend of major crimes within the region. Some of these strategies that we put in place included, one, surveillance and intelligence gathering on crime. Two, intelligence-led soups in criminal hideouts. Three, increased and sustained day and night foot, motorbike, and vehicular patrols. Four, introduction of snap checks. Five, regular monitoring, supervision, and evaluation of activities of the day and night patrols. Six, collaborating with communities to es establish new police posts and stations as part of our accessibility program. Seven, numerous crime alert educational programs were also organized especially for school children, among others, to educate them on personal security precautions. Apart from efforts by the Regional Public Affairs Unit, districts in the region organized public sensitization programs on crime prevention and combat. Then eight, cultivation and maintenance of credible informants, which contributed to the arrest of some suspected armed robbers, some of whom are being prosecuted and others jailed. Due to the intensive patrols on our highways,
by highway patrol unit, by the highway patrol unit, and hard work of our snap check personnel, not a single incident of highway robbery occurred along the main Cape Coast Accra Road after introduction of the night snap checks. Through the dynamic leadership of our honorable regional minister, two police stations were built by the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly and our Sin South District Assembly and handed over to the police in 2018. On, 20, on 23rd August 2018, the Honorable Metropolitan Chief Executive for Cape Coast handed over a newly constructed police station at Nkanfua to police and on 18th December 2018, the Honorable District Chief Executive of Asin South District and the people of Aurasu also handed over keys to a new police station in Aurasu to police. These two new police stations were operationalized on 2nd and 18th December 2018 respectively thereby bringing police services to the doorsteps of more people in the Encampfort suburb of Cape Coast and are also in the Asin South. We are very grateful to our Honorable Regional Minister and his Chief Executives for Cape Coast, Metro and Asin South districts, as well as the good people of Aurasu. May I personally congratulate our hardworking MTTU personnel, especially those who were detailed at major intersections, including those in Budubram and Pedu, among others, for their dedication to duty. These personnel worked under very challenging conditions, under the scorching sun, and sometimes under heavy rain pour, downpours. And yet, they gallantly carried on out their duties, especially during the rush hours of the day. For some period of time during the year, the Pedu traffic light was out of order. And these MTTU personnel were directed to step into the gap and direct traffic day and night to ensure safety at that very busy intersection. The accident prevention squads deployed on our major roads in the region also deserve commendation as their dedicated operations on the highways contributed in curbing crashes on our roads. Our detectives and prosecutors also deserve some commendation as they contributed so much to the overall modern successes we chopped in 2018. They did not only gather and share the much needed intelligence that police in the region thrived on, but also detected some crimes that could easily have gone unsolved. In addition, a good number of cases were successfully prosecuted. As part of efforts to build the capacity of our detectives and prosecutors in the region and positioning them to deliver better services in 2019, the command, in collaboration with the Attorney General's department in the region, organized a training program in criminal disclosures for them. In addition, several detectives benefited from other capacity building programs organized by the National Detective Training School and some non-governmental non organizations, including the Ladder Institute. Some of the crimes that engaged the attention of the police throughout the region during the preceding year were domestic and gender-based violence cases, as well as human trafficking cases, especially involving children. The gallant officers and men 
above the Domestic Violence and Victim Support Unit, DOFSU for short, and the Anti-Human Trafficking Unit worked tirelessly round the clock to investigate such cases and to bring perpetrators to book. In the case of human trafficking cases, they also secured the freedom of the victims. The unit carried out outreach programs in some schools, churches, and communities within Cape Coast and in the districts to sensitize the public on their personal security and issues relating to human trafficking, as well as domestic and gender-based violence. These programs were very successful and did not only empower the participants, but also enhanced the relationship between police and members of these communities. Nana Chairman, we conducted countless planned and well, as well as unplanned police operations, most of them high risk in nature, across the region during the year and the review. Some of these operations involved police operations to ensure law, order, and security during visits by BVIPs, whilst others were in the line of direct crime combat. In the first category, our operations personnel worked closely with sister security services and other stakeholders to ensure a successful four-day tour of the central region by the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Akufadu, during the period. Similar collaborations helped in ensuring several other successful visits to the region by His Excellency the President, as well as His Excellency the Vice President. Safe security spaces were also created through collaboration for successful visits to the region by their excellencies, the first and second ladies of Ghana. Her Excellency Melania Trump and His Excellency the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and Kitts, among others. In respect of operations that were in line of direct crime combat, our regional, divisional, and district operation commanders and their teams risked their lives day and night on the streets of our communities, fighting crime to protect lives and property and to bring perpetrators of crime to book. Several successes were chalked in this regard and the personnel deserve commendation. During the, the year under review, visibility personnel of the regional headquarters and all districts also carried out confidence-building patrols jointly with community protection assistance of the Youth Employment Agency, YEA. They patrolled our communities, schools, crime hotspots, where they interacted with members of the public, giving them security tips, gathering intelligence, and helping to solve problems relating to law, order, and security in the communities. All our operations in the region were ably supported by a team of dedicated personnel of the communications unit located in the regional divisional headquarters. All our operations were professionally coordinated by these personnel. In short, their excellent work, especially during crisis periods, and support for the men on the field, both day and night, was simply tremendous. And, put, and simply put, very efficient and invaluable. In the course of their work during the year, Personnel of the Central Regional Police saw some of the most gruesome crime scenes, conveyed dismembered as well as decomposed bodies, and smelt very foul scents, the kind that 
would have elicit, elicited nightmares and loss of appetite for the faint-hearted. Yet they carried on, day and night, throughout the year, at the peril of their lives. In the process, some personnel got injured and two, very sadly, paid the ultimate price with their lives in the line of duty. May their gallant souls rest in perfect peace. My colleague police officers and men, if after all your sacrifices, it appears to you that no one cares, I stand here this afternoon on behalf of the police administration, the regional police command, and on my own behalf to assure you that your efforts are recognized and that we appreciate and thank you for your sacrifices. On this note, I wish to congratulate all personnel of the region who have all contributed to our, our operational successes. Well done. Honorable Regional Minister, the Regional Police Command would focus on working towards reducing incidents of crime within the region to the barest minimum in the current year through strengthening proactive strategies by way of preventive measures which are already in place. We shall continue to cooperate with the Regional Security Council all sister security services in the region, as well as metropolitan, municipal, district security committees to provide world-class police services to the good people of the central region. Distinguished invited guests, permit me to acknowledge the tremendous leadership, encouragement, and support provided for us by our Honorable Regional Minister throughout last year. He was so passionate about issues bordering on law, order, and security within the region, and he demonstrated this through his consistent support for policing. I cannot imagine how we could have adhered or we could have achieved our modest successes without him. I also wish to acknowledge the Honorable Deputy Regional Minister for his big support. I also remember the contributions of the Honorable Mayor of Cape Coast, all MMDCEs, the Omar Hini of the Ogwa Traditional Council, my colleague service commanders, in fact, all departmental heads in the region were so supportive. Our media friends, you are not left out. Throughout the year, we stood shoulder to shoulder on the streets in the fight against crime. Time cannot allow me to mention all of them. To all of you who supported the Regional Police Command to carry out its mandate in the preceding year, I wish to thank all of you and pray that we will even work closer together this year than we did last year. I sincerely thank all of you and also use this opportunity to appeal to other organizations and individuals to assist the police to provide security for them because security is a shared responsibility and the Ghana Police Service alone cannot do it alone. On this note, I welcome you to the 2018 WASA of the Central Regional Police Command. And I'm sure we will have a very memorable and enjoyable time together this afternoon. God bless you all, and thank you for your audience. Thank you so much. I'm sure if it's not already one year at his post, there might be a few days to be in one year on assumption of office as a regional police commander. Before I say a few words, clearly he 
has given us a very good account of the security situation. This is my third time of being part of the regional WASA. The first was within the quadrangle. And the, first, and the second was at your own behest when you heard it at Elimina Beach Resort. And the third is here. Mr. Commander, am I in? This is the commander who, in a very professional way, for us, as people who may not appreciate security, may want it to be done in a particular way, he will listen to you from Alpha to Omega. And then, in a very polite, calm manner, he will take all the things you have asked him to do, step by step, do a proper digestion, and then clearly before he ends, you realize that, no, this is indeed a man who understands security. The one year or so that he has been here, our region, if it's not the most secure, it's indeed with the most secure regions of the country. The figures that I receive every day in terms of robbery, murder, cyber fraud, assault, if I compare from 2017, 2018, and 19, I continue to see a downward decline. And that is a feather in the cap of the regional commander and his able lieutenants, and indeed to all you men of the Ghana police. The year on the review, the two places which nearly became explosive where the issues between Abra traditional area and Kwaman traditional area over the ownership of a small village close to Asoni and Kumase. But for the quick and professional handling of the situation, it would have been a different matter. On this occasion where we are gathered to take a stock of our performance last year and on top of it to socialize, I use the opportunity to pat the command on the back and to pat all of you on your back for that quick and professional intervention that otherwise would have resulted in loss of lives and property. The second that was quite explosive was the uh, Abro Dunkwamata, where the youth, after a number of incidents, decided somehow to take the law into their own hands and to go out there in their estimation to visit justice on the people they perceived as being part of the troubles and the problems which were rearing their heads in that community. Unfortunate as that incident was, the police handled that matter quite professionally. And the current situation on that matter is that all that must be done is being done and Eventually, those who were part of that incident will be made to face the full rigors of the law. Those were the only two explosive issues, but which were competently... All of you on behalf of His Excellency the President, and to assure you 
that this government is police friendly that all the necessary tools that you require to enable you undertake your constitutionally mandated functions the government will do what is within the constraint of the budget to provide you provide you with those resources again the government is also minded of your own welfare the management of the economy will be done in such a way that there will be enough space to enable the necessary adjustment in your salaries to be able to cater for your basic needs. One of such welfare issues was just the recent announcement of increase in your peacekeeping duty allowance from $30 to $35. The president tells me to tell you that all that must be done to support you, to enable you to carry out your duties as police, as the maintain maintainers of the security of this country, this president, this government will do in that direction. Finally, before I resume my seat, I, on behalf of the entire people of the region, the chiefs, the imams, the clergy, the opinion leaders, the heads of institutions, and all the people of the region, I, on their behalf, extend our warmest appreciation to you that in the times when we are asleep, you are all over the place securing us. Whether it is our festivals, you are there to secure us. Whether it is social gathering, our picnics, our funerals. Indeed, tell me one single social event that will go peacefully without the contribution of the police. Tell me, and I'm prepared to learn. There is none. So for you, for you, our very existence and the necessary peace that we require to enable us to carry out our daily chores and activities, it is the very foundation of our living. And you are the ones who provide and give unto us. On behalf of the people, on behalf of the region, I wish to thank you and on this occasion to congratulate you for the successes you have shown and to urge you to keep your guard towards the year so that in the year we will sail through without any troubles, any major issues on our hand. I thank you for your kind attention.